All right, hi, I'm David Cohen, Senior Marketing Director for Wi-Fi, Low Power Wi-Fi IoT products. Hey, I'm Chandra and I'm the lead FAE for Wi-Fi uh, solutions. Yeah, our Wi-Fi product is a breakthrough low power Wi-Fi SOC. Wi-Fi has been around for a long time, but low power Wi-Fi is really something that's, that's very new, very exciting, very innovative and, and a major breakthrough. Yeah, uh, Wi-Fi has been like, you know, uh, impression that it's a, a more power consuming and, you know, it takes a lot of power, but, you know, now the technology is improved and we brought up with our own IP and technologies which can bring the whole Wi-Fi into the low power domain. Today, we're looking at the demonstration of the DA16200 low power Wi-Fi SOC um, as a fully Wi-Fi connected device, but delivering very low power. So we have first our SOC, our 16200 SOC, mounted on our standard evaluation board. And that is connected to a simple Wi-Fi router, which is uh, just an off-the-shelf router, not our software, not our silicon. Now you'll also notice that the board itself is just powered by a simple battery pack, powering the board over USB. The board itself has some test pins, these, these red and black test pins that you can see. And they're connected to this big device, it's Keysight, and that's the industry standard for measuring um, very low power accurately. So it's establishing a very simple Wi-Fi connection in the room between the board and the Wi-Fi router. Now for this demo, we're using what we call our sleep mode three, our connected sleep mode. And we're showing that even in this connected sleep mode, we can deliver very low power. And then the display from the Keysight instrument is just going on to Chandra's laptop here. What it's showing is power consumption over time. So you can see on the screen here um, what's going on. We're waking up every three seconds, and those are those little spikes where we turn on our receiver and check for incoming traffic. And that's how it maintains the Wi-Fi connection. One other thing that we do to maintain the Wi-Fi connection is every 30 seconds, we send a frame to the router. We call this a Keep Alive frame. That's what you see on the uh, Keysight screen. That's the larger power spike. So this enables the uh, Wi-Fi device to maintain a connection to the Wi-Fi network. In some of these applications, there's really no active traffic for many hours. And so if we didn't send this, the Wi-Fi router might decide that we're not here anymore. We're not on the network we've roamed off. So when you see the whole screen capture, what we've done is we've captured a representative 30 second sample. So this is an open air, very re realistic environment. So these are all the things you need to do to maintain a Wi-Fi connection. And we can do all this at under 50 microamp. And so we're able to maintain this Wi-Fi connection at this very low current. And then that gives you a baseline uh, Wi-Fi current for a continuously connected device. What we're able to do is address all these applications that want to use Wi-Fi, but are running on batteries. These are often called IoT, Internet of Things applications, really just about anything that you can dream up that can run on a small battery and wants to connect to the Wi-Fi network, we now can address.